I don't believe that the reason why we have failed so far to deal with climate change is because humans are inherently greedy and short-sighted um, and, and, and selfish and all those things that we're so often told. I think it's because we are locked within particular systems that, um, that light up those parts of ourselves. My main hope for tonight was really to lay out a vision for what transitioning off fossil fuels would look like that isn't scary but is actually exciting and lays the groundwork for a stronger economy that's more inclusive than the one we have right now. I think people brought a lot of positive energy, but I'm always kind of blown away to come to a community that, you know, is not that big and there's this kind of appetite. It happens in BC more than anywhere else, I must say. BC is ready to leap. It's really about a balance between hope and fear because the fear is real. I mean, when you're talking about climate change, it brings up immediate feelings of, oh my God, this is going to be too scary. I can't look, right? But we do have to look. We're on a deadline here when it comes to climate change. But, you know, my message is not just like, oh, we have to act because if we don't, we're all going to die. It's we have to act. The threat is real. But in acting, we actually have incredible opportunities to fix our economy in all kinds of ways where it's not working right now. We need to start investing in the infrastructure of the future we can create many more jobs. BC Center for Policy Alternatives has studied this and shown that every dollar invested in an oil and gas pipeline, if you, if you invest that in energy efficiency, in, um, in renewable energy and public transit, you create six to eight times more jobs.